What up, Copper family? So we have a guest here. What up? <laughs> uh, we uh, we actually just some cool news. We just had finished our first professional recording of Dad Bods and Beards. Um, we have what thirty five episodes. Thirty fifth, I think. Yeah, we ha- we just did. We have thirty four that we've done like this, and uh, we uh, got asked and recognized and. Uh, we have a major producer who is doing our stuff, and so we've been working so together. And uh, needless to say, uh, I'm really excited. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. Yeah, it is. But guys, it's Friday night. Thank you so much for being uh, We're two hours later than we normally are. And I really do appreciate you guys coming on. I'm missing dinner right now. Logan's missing dinner. Um, but you guys are that important to us. Uh, more yeah, more than food. food. It's, too, it's true. We are going to have Chinese food. But let's start saying hi to everyone. So we got Mr. E. What's up, man? Thanks for coming in. We got Michael H. Did you see his beard? Yeah. The gray and everything. Oh, it looks so good. good. Yeah. Then we got Brant King. So Brant King is coming um, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday, Brent? Uh, to the barbershop at one o'clock, and I'm Sweet. going to go say hi to I him. I just love the barbershop. If you can't tell, fresh he did. paid. He did. I feel like I lost ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and what's up, John? How you doing, buddy? Thanks so much for coming in. And then we got Mr. Rick, day one supporter of Copper John's. Yeah, um, holy beard! Look at that. Yeah, he and he has every cent of the month from all the way from solitude, like everyone. Like That's he is commitment. I love that. He is. Uh, He's Copper John's family, like through and through. Like he's an amazing person. He is working. Him and I are going to be working on. I got oud scents, and now I'm working on some tobacco scents. Mm-hmm. We're going to be creating a tobacco oud for some something in the fall. I like it. So, I like it. I, love I know. It. We got Mr. Tony G. How you doing, Tony? Now Tony's a stud. He's fairly new to Copper John's, but he is loyal. He's amazing. Yeah. Such a good dude. You hey. met? Have you talked to Tony? Uh, I don't know. I talked. I, I might have. Um, and- he he had, he had a dog in his profile picture. Yeah. Oh. Put some put some beard butter butter on your dog's pad. Or no no uh, beard oil on the dog's pads. <gasps> we need to get no ideas. Joke, no joke. My dog's pads were drying out. I put started putting beard beard oil on them. Oh. Game changer. You know what uh, a lot of people do now is they put uh, the daily conditioning wash mm. for, oh, the, for the dogs. Uh huh. Because mm. it doesn't dry them out. It actually reoilizes yeah, their, their skin oils. Re-oil, Re-oil? I don't know if that's a word. It's not. <laughs> What's up, Todd? Hey, Todd, congratulations. Um, I saw your post. Uh, congratulations on... Yeah, he's, got, uh, he's, got the, he's got the same beard style as me. I like that. Yeah, he, it's a big one. Uh, we already said hi to John, but how you doing, buddy? MG! Hey, MG, how you doing? Um, what did we say congratulations on? The podcast. Oh! <laughs> Gosh! For you, have been in there for like two minutes. Yeah. What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much. And MG, uh, I don't think I've ever seen you here before. What is your name? So I can call you, or unless you like MG, and then I can easily call you that. But thank you. That means a lot. And this is your first time? Let me know. Usually it's just me, but like I said, uh, he's here. Why not here. Why not have him here? And Ken, from he's been oh, yeah. to the barbershop several times. Yeah. Down, he's from my neck of the woods. Producer's Diddy. <laughs> No, but I will say this. No. That, so we're in we're in an actual stu- studio and lighting and everything, and one of the lights went off on us. Yeah, and and fun. he's sitting here, army crawling behind yeah. me, trying our to new, get the our lights new producer, on. Producer, I just look over and he's like on the ground, <laughs> trying to stay underneath the cameras to turn the light back on. I'm like, that is commitment. Show him uh, the video, obviously with no sound. So yeah, so our uh, this is kind of like a behind the scenes of how it's gonna look. You can see how I'm official. scratching my head. It's it's super official, you guys. Like this is super cool. So stay tuned. Yeah, it's good gonna be stuff cool. coming. I'm excited. Hey, what's up, Mr. Three D himself? Yeah, Tuesday. He's gonna be Tuesday at one o'clock. I'll be there. Sweet. And uh, it'll be fun. Yo, Will, how you doing, man? Okay, Will. I, we're just gonna announce it now. So we're doing Family Feud. I have new questions. Some questions I did purposely, hoping Will will come. Oh, really? Were you there last time? I wasn't. I had family stuff. Okay. I don't think I've laughed. It, you know how sometimes I say things and I don't mean them? All the time. But <laughs> so, so Will would say things that were just so like the worst answer known to man. Like, oh, really? like that doesn't even age. make sense. And I would look at it, I would laugh. I'm like, that is the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh and I was just I was laughing. Will made the show for me. Like That's I cool. had so much fun with that, that guy. And he was it was so, so, so much fun. It. 
Oh, no, but uh, so again, we're doing Family Feud uh, tomorrow at um, 8 o'clock, so my time, so 10 o'clock Eastern, and uh, that gives you time to do all your uh, Easter celebrations with your family. Mine starts at 5.30, so I have two and a half hours to celebrate with my family yeah. until until we have that. But uh, Robert, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming on. Dude, Robert, thank you. You know what we got to do with these guys? What? We're going to have a special live just for our, our members. Yeah, totally. We really do. Some behind-the-scenes stuff, yeah. Okay, so what does he mean by this one? Yeah, like they're putting it on the dog. Okay, so that's what I mean. I forgot. Bro, I need to, I need to do these with you. I need to like do these with you all the time. Just like, hey, that's my dad. You guys can't. So his profile picture doesn't do me justice. He actually he just shaved his beard. Ah, oh, wow. but he he still rocks the he still rocks the really good like mustache. mustache? But my yeah, had his beard for like speaking know, of like, six uh, months or speaking months. of which, you two. You guys, your dad won a raffle uh, when we did I Got Your Six for the beer competition. Yeah. He paid for the, the what was it? The, the ice fishing trip. The ice fishing He just messaged me and like next week is kind of the last week we can do it. Because I won well, one and you got one and I feel like. Uh, it looks like that's not happening. So next week, next next Saturday, Friday is kind of when we could do it. I wonder if I'll carry him over and we can try him next year. Dude, one month. Thanks, Todd. Thank you so much, man. That means a lot. Uh, I'm I'm Mike. Perfect, Mike. I can remember that until I see MG again. I'm like, what's his name? Yeah. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, no, Todd. That's really cool. Go check out his thing. Um, he uh, became born again, oh, and I nice. uh, just and he's very proud of it, as he should be. And yeah, I just want to say congrats. Uh, I am ready to see the Tyson recreate some uh, calisthenics from the TikTok tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the so the logan has to access to the copper john's tiktok and i have 14 uh ready to go and he said i had to share this one because he was laughing so hard i was, watching I was it. looking through i was posting some stuff last night i looked through the drafts and the saves and i was like why have i never seen this before? <laughs> <laughs> so. uh yes we are in the same room uh we're on the same level of chair yeah, I have um, a shorter to torso than him, though. So yeah, but we have the same arm. Like he can reach what I can reach. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I have a yeah, big head. Look at your head. We're in the same room. We're right next to each other. But you can see the difference in head. Yeah. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> head shape. Yeah. Oh, dude, what's up, Joe? Hey, there's Joe. He's the one that made yeah, me laugh so Joe? hard. No, he's the one who made me laugh so hard. Where it says it's, people will say that's not a, a stunt double. Oh yeah, that's good. But hey, you have fun at the movie. Um, I know I'm just glad to support you. Awesome. Same. Good old dad. I love oh, dad. Okay. So everyone's here. Um, I'm going to post something probably um, Sunday. Okay. I'm thinking Sunday. And and it's an old one. So well, you guys who have supported Copper John since day one will have seen this. Um, but you haven't seen this. So no, I'm I going, it's, it, this is the nipple. Um, oh, is this where the sensitive nipple comes from? No, this is the nipple piercing TikTok that I did. Okay. Uh, and so, so it's four. It's two minutes long, but it's like forty-five seconds long of it, and then the rest is bloopers. We literally took us three hours to create this TikTok because I could not stop laughing. That's funny. Look how poofy your beard is. It's not even. Look how un not gray your beard is there. Yeah, I told you this is right when I started Copper John. So this it, was even this three was, years this ago. Was before, this and was this before. is Isaac, and no one's seen Isaac. Like this is just this uh is pre Tyson and Logan. Yeah. Hey, Dino, what's up, man? Hey, Dino, there he is. Um, Rich, Rich, how you doing, buddy? I'll get to that answer in just a sec. But here we go. I want uh, tell me if you guys can, can hear this or not. Um, I hope you can. But here we go. I want you. I had a dream, and I wanted, and I, I got to do this. And then the epic oh, it's like music. A fishing joke. Yeah. <laughs> So while he's swimming, he's going to catch fish. <laughs> what is this? So then that's all it was. You've reached that age where I feel like you need to know the secrets right now. You need to know why the men in this family have nipple rings. 
<laughs> oh, I love that Candace is recording this uh, and she's blessing this one. That's so funny. <laughs> Three and a half hours of this, like, we could not finish. Oh, dude, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm like laughing from you laughing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and the thing is, is like I know that laugh because it's been so many times that we've tried to record something and we just can't. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Isaac is the seasoned actor. Yeah. Right <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's good. Uh, oh, but anyway, so I'm going to post like that. Crying. But I had to show. I had to show everyone that. Yeah. Uh, not everyone gets to see something. Yeah, hey, yeah, Abby, how you doing? Uh, this is my sister. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Come on. Miles, what's up, man? Do you know things? Uh, I have had. I've heard of noodling, but did he go nibbling? <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know noodling is, right? Uh huh. With the yeah. hand, dude. There are some people that do noodling, and they have those scars from the catfish. You're like, dude, that's intense. Uh, you guys are definitely, yeah. That's my son. Uh, so he is in, um, where is he? Par Paraguay. He's in Paraguay, and he comes back July second. It will be two years. I'm really excited to see him again. And uh, yeah, he's going to start a Spanish channel for Copper Johns. Um, so I'm really excited. I, you know what I've been doing? Hmm. So a couple of the guys that work with us. Um, our guys that run the concrete crew is a bunch of Hispanic guys and, uh, they are, our concrete foreman, his name Luis. He said, I will give you a year to learn Spanish and then I will take you and your wife to dinner wherever you want. Oh, wow. So I've been on Duolingo. Hola, yo soy Logan. ¿Qué onda, amigo? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, do this because everyone always comments. Show everyone. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> dude, I've never. That's so. I feel so dainty. For the first time in my life, I feel small. I can't even drink now. Oh, that's so funny. John's like, what? <laughs> I used Duolingo for a month and the, and two or then lost. See, Candace was doing the same thing, Will. My wife, Candace, she was doing that because Isaac was learning Spanish. She wanted to. And she really only learned manzana or yo quiero manzana or something like that. So I, it definitely, uh, when you're changing your name. Oh, what? He's talking um, to him. Diet, DP, that's the drink See, of champions. I used, to, I used to hate on Diet Dr. Pepper all the time until I switched from we were we were working out and stuff like that all the time and i got rid of the sugary drinks and mm -hmm. now it's like i don't know what is dark so diet dr. with diet dr pepper though it has to be cold oh 100 if it's warm it's not it's nasty well, but it, for me diet dr pepper is best out of a cold can like i don't like the diet dr pepper fountain as much as i like a cold can do you want uh, a multi i feel like i have to have vitamin like the, the gummy vitamins because if you guys have uh, ever watched it live with tyson he sits here and eats his own gummies or do I guess my candy. Okay. So, uh, where's my lid? You have your lid. I have the lid. Okay. The Deuce, imagine holding uh, the... Imagine this man holding a <laughs> Well, that's a TikTok we're going to have to make. Dude, but do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It's like a... It's like you're holding one of those like uh, four ounce cans that they give you on the airplane. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, like... All right, so what someone does your hand look like with one of those. With what? The little four ounce cans that they give you on the airplane. Oh, you can't see crap. Or the eight ounce, I mean. Oh no, everything disappears in my hand. Um. All right, guys. All right, anybody eat fish today, Rich? Rich. Um, I'm about to have some. <laughs> 
I'm confused as to why we're asking that question. I don't know. She just wanted to. So I said, on here, it says if you ask a question, I'll answer I have it. Been temp- I've never tried the fish fillet from McDonald's, and I've, I've been tempted to. I almost did it today. But I figured that wasn't a good time to try it for the first time. Mm-hmm. It was right before we went on camera. Vinny, I didn't see you there. How are you doing, buddy? I think I'm going to need you to like sit back down because you're a little bit. I feel like my butt was hurting. <laughs> I feel like because like, I was slouching. I'm like, and I talking, can't... I'm like talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we're about to have sushi. I love sushi. Oh, so we will have fish today. Oh, wait, they were closed. I had to order Chinese and not Japanese. Oh, dang. My life's over. Yo, Jace, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Oh, there he is. So, guys, if you ever need any editing work done on your TikToks, your YouTubes, your Facebooks, anything like that, if you have a podcast. Hit up Jace. Uh, hit up Jace. Um, the only reason why we decided we did, we made a decision with Jace. We talked to Jace about this. Um, it's just something we couldn't pass up. Yeah. So Jace was our Jace was the producer for like the last what five six months for us for yeah. for cop or for Dad Bods and Beards. And then when we got produced or uh, approached to do, you know, localized with the actual video and everything, because Jace is, you're what, back east, right, buddy? Um, so we just. Yeah, he's in New York. Yeah. So it, uh, yeah. So the last, last, uh, last Let's half pop. a year, and you guys are, uh, you guys are hearing the editing skills of Jace. So if you guys need a good back end editor and producer, give him a call for sure. Oh, he's in Florida. Oh, yeah. same difference. Yeah. Back yeah. east for us. But. Uh, so let's box that. Have you ever, I have always wanted to box. I've always wanted to try that type of stuff. But then the problem is I would have to fight someone my size. See, and I'm like, I don't want to get hit by someone. I think me. you could throw a good punch, but I don't, I don't know. You want to know something funny? What? And I'm dead serious. It's not funny how it happened, but it's funny. Like, ha ha. Like, like not funny. Ha ha. But like, yeah. Like, it's like, sure. yeah. Okay. So I'm sitting here driving and I look down, I'm going 50 miles an hour and I'm going, and it's the speed limit. I'm not speeding. I'm just sure. going down. It's raining hard. Um, stoplight, it was green. I looked down, I turned the radio, look up, everyone stopped in front of me. Boom, no break. Didn't have my seatbelt on or anything. I go through the window, my my right here. I shut the window. I, I'm bleeding right here. Didn't feel a thing, didn't have a bruise, didn't have anything. That day forward, plus all the football, I learned I could take a punch. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like, too bad for the other car, though. But good thing you learned the lesson. <laughs> it was a co-worker, and he was really cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But no, I, I didn't like, even get a ticket. Interesting. Like, like, like it was totally obviously my fault. But I feel like it depends on who you're fighting, though, because I think I know. I I think I would know where to hit you. Nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> just punch her in the nipple. You'll be so like, dead. Ah, oh, damn! Like, no. <laughs> uh, dead serious though. First world problems. I got to sell for Chinese one and one Japanese. Like hibachi is so good to me. I don't know if it is there really a difference like when it comes to being yeah, healthier. Totally... No, there's a difference in food, but is it really healthier to go Japanese? I always feel like it is. Um, I think as long as you, if you go grilled, anything's healthier than, than deep fried covered in sugar sauce, you know. But but it's good. Ribs for dinner. Ribs ribs with a beard is brave, I must say. You know. Dude, ribs sound amazing. Have you ever, Will, have you ever had where's the best ribs you've ever had? Let's ask that question. Where's the best ribs you ever had? Um, I will say my first and foremost is in Texas at Salt Lake. It's out of Austin. Um, a couple, it's a few while out. It's a winery and a, a barbecue pit. Yeah, it's the weirdest, thing, but it's so good. You, you know what the oddest second place is? Texas Roadhouse. Oh, they've got amazing ribs. I, it's like I, I never would think a best chain has I good ribs. Best ribs I ever had was a like, um, I. First and only time I've ever been to Texas, I was driving a truck down there, a semi truck, and I stopped into a truck stop, like a big site, a big truck stop down there, and there was like a barbecue food truck, but the food truck was like a big, one of the big like smoker trailers. Like oh. This dude had his and dude, I, those are I legit. Went and, got, and they had like picnic tables set up, and he must have been. I think he like posted up there regularly, mm-hmm. and I got the I got the three meat spread with like brisket, dude, I'm so brisket hungry. ribs and the sausage. That's probably the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. Like a, literally the corner of a gas station in Texas. Texas has some really good barbecue. Yeah. My, uh, the Royal Rumble. Yeah, nope. <laughs> you saw, I don't know if you saw Miles, my last post. I can barely do a somersault. I mean, I did a backflip and everything. I was impressed, though. I was impressed. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> uh, surf and turf. That sounds good. Ribs with a fork and a knife. Come on, Michael. Well, you know, hey, don't hate on the game, though. Like, that's that's a clean way to eat. Ribs with a beard. I just go after it. 
So when I'm eating wings, so let's say I'm going to B-dubs, I'll use one hand and I'll just destroy it. And then I'll use my other hand and I'll wipe it with that. But I never clean my other hand. I'm just like... But you trim your mustache, though. Right? Like, yeah, because like, I have like six hairs that will grow long. It doesn't make sense yeah. for when me. When you to... can go like this though, like, and your mouth disappears, yeah, like, it's, it's hard to eat. Yeah, oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. sure. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's hard to eat like fried chicken or thing. Like I pull, I I pull fried chicken apart and eat it with a fork. Like I I like tear it apart. You didn't say your mom's ribs. Oh, dude, my mom's ribs are bomb. Like my mom's ribs, like growing up. Like that, that's like my birthday. I'm like, can you make me... see? It's not so much the ribs; it's the sauce. Okay. My mom's homemade sauce is is what makes the ribs because she's she's smoked them, she's grilled them, she's done other stuff. So it's the sauce. That so, the uh, Dave, I'm a little hurt that you guys haven't invited me and Candace over to eat. I'll, some uh, ribs. Dude, I'll I'll get some I'll get some freaking Mama Bell sauce. Or, yeah, we call it call it Mama Bell sauce. See, yes, do you beef know? Beef ribs. See, I've only had beef rib like once or twice. Hey, it's Burley. <laughs> there you That's How funny. you doing, Burley? Two for one special. And Burley just cracks me up. It's funny. Uh, Cruise Market in Lockhart, Texas. I'm going to... I, I used is. to go to Texas all the time. Yeah. And I know where Lockhart is. That's well, actually beards one, of, Texas. one of uh, Miles, one of uh, our customers uh, that sell wholesale, that are our customers, is out of Lockhart. And uh, you should go check them out. Maybe, maybe when Dad Bods and Beards hits that trend, because we've talked about doing um, some Dad Bods and Beards live recordings of when when we when definitely get as big as we know we're gonna be, we'll have to do like Dad Bods and Beards on tour. That would be fun. We'll do like Texas and other places. Uh, does Alabama do good ribs? I would think of Alabama South, would do. do. Yeah, good. I imagine they have you some good bet, food. Okay. You know, this is making me want like straight up. Cajun food like jambalaya. Have you ever had deep fried alligator? Oh yeah. You know where my first time I had alligator was? Where the Saints versus Giants game in uh in the dome. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. See, my dad used to travel a lot, and you've ever had Papa Do's? No. It's like a Cajun restaurant. It's a lot in the south and mm -hmm. other places. I went with my dad one time. Uh, I used to go with my dad uh, when he'd travel every now and then, and then he took me to Papa Do's and had deep fried alligator. Oh, so when I went to Texas on my own that one time, I had to get some. That was amazing. That, uh, no, alligator is really good. Mm -hmm. It's like really juicy chicken. So you know how we have um, – what's the chicken place here? There's That's, a bunch of them. No, no. It's Carver's? Is that what um, – You're talking about Raising Cane's? Raising Cane's. That's everywhere. Okay. No, 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 no. But Raising Cane's. I went to Raising Cane's over there, and they were in, in um, New Orleans. Yeah. And they had alligator there. At Raising Cane's? Mm-hmm. Interesting. They had alligator like chicken nuggets, but yeah, they're alligator, alligator nuggets. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> hey, yeah, producerjace.com. Go check him out. Dead serious. If you guys ever need any help, and he is fairly inexpensive. Like um, he will and can do full like social media edits for you too. I welcome the funny stares, as you should. Yeah. Be proud of you, Art. That's what we always say. I don't care. Maine. Wow, Rick. Interesting. I, I that just thought, tells me Rick like... has never left me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Rick? I bet you've had some amazing lobster. <laughs> Dude, no joke. Okay, Rick, lobster or crab? What's your favorite? Crabs for me. Crab for me, for sure. Well, yes, crab for me. But it has to be like like king crab, like not like mm. snow crab. Like, or, you know, like the like the rock crab or whatever. You know, Dude, but the crab... Uh... What is it, Joe's Crab Shack? And then you get the barbecue style crab. Yeah. Oh. Dude, we should go to Joe's Crab Shack. Is there still one on by a Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy? Uh huh. I think so. Ooh, we should. All right, I like barbecue too. Central is good. Uh, see, we'll get you some barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming on. We're just talking about food because we're we have we've missed dinner and. Uh, Will had we uh, ribs and it just sounded really good. And we had lunch at like eleven thirty. <laughs> Alabama has exceptional barbecue. See, I can imagine that. Go. Dude, we were in such a rush today. I ate my McDonald's chicken nuggets without sauce. <laughs> I was so disappointed. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jace. Uh, no teeth well, for in Alabama for chewing. I, I shouldn't have said Balls that. Balls right oh. off the bone. 
that's the worst restaurant is called Cajun food. Oh, really? Well, I'm 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 a guy where we don't have Cajun restaurants where we're from. So um actually, so if you go to State Street in Salt Lake, there's a bar there and they say they uh do Cajun food. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look it up. But I used to take customers there when I was selling. Is it good food? Holy crap. They had the best um uh, what is the black? Okay, guys, who who know Cajun food? Black eyed peas. No, uh, it's a blackened salmon. Is that what it's blackened? Is like it's Cajun. That's right. I think so. I don't know, dude. Apparently, I don't know Cajun because I thought Bobbitos. Dude, good. it was the spiciest, tastiest. Like Utah is very bland and and yeah. simple. But there are there are a lot of restaurants that are popping up here. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. But then you find out what the number one, two, three, four, five, all those restaurants are in Utah. Yeah. That are most popular. Mm -hmm. um, Texas Roadhouse, Cheesecake Factory, oh, the big cheese. and Olive Garden. Yeah. No, it just shows you that we like we really don't have a ton. Yeah. Dad Bod's Comedy Show Tour. Y'all definitely possess natural comedic talent. Thank hey, you. thanks, Rich Rich. Yeah. I, I, I feel day. weird calling him Rich Rich, but I want to call him Rich Rich, even if his name is just Rich, because I want to call him Rich Rich Rich. <gasps> nope, Rich Rich. Memphis has a great barbecue, but I like Texas barbecue a little bit more. So I heard Memphis has amazing barbecue. Yeah, I'm not yeah. joking. I heard Memphis is amazing. <clears throat> um, Dreamland and Archibald and Woods. Ooh. That actually sounds like a good to, barbecue. I'm going to watch this back and just start writing things down. And then we're like, we'll plan our tour dates around where all these restaurants are. <laughs> oh, he doesn't eat seafood. And he's in Maine. Mm, man. Don't you? Well, I mean, if you think wait, about it. Wait, 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 wait. So what do you do with the fishy catch? You just is it catch and release only? See, I love like for me when I catch fish. Now this is when I was broke, like you know, broke. Mm -hmm. I would like say prayers to say, hey, please let me catch some fish so I have dinner tonight for my family. Fish, yeah. Like dead serious, like it was that bad. And now I just love to taste. So my favorite thing to oh, take, yeah. like, uh, so let's say we go to Kazi, which you've never been. But anyone who's looked at the, my stories uh, recently on Sunday, my family went to Kazi to go see what it looks like and everything. They have some amazing trout there. And animals are, like, absurd. Like, we see moose there all the time. Um, I think I've seen elk once. But mostly just deer. But anyway, uh, we'll t I'll catch, like, six or seven and put them in. T we'll we'll uh, gut them, I'll cut their heads off, all that kind of stuff, debone them. And then uh, we'll put... Butter in in the middle, and then some uh, lemon and lemon pepper, mm. and then I'll put, put it. And then I can't remember if Candace is listening or not, but I think we might add some vegetables. Like I don't know for sure, like, but something that grew in the ground. Yeah, but then um, and then we put it in tin foil and we put it on the edge of the fire pit as we're outside cooking and all yeah, that kind of stuff. Dinners, oh, Holy well. crap! Yeah. So good. It's my favorite you know, thing in the world. But kind of what Rick was saying he doesn't eat seafood. Yeah, if you think about it. Lobsters, crab, things like that. They're just like big sea bugs. They're just bugs that live underwater and they're big and we eat them and call them like delicacies. <clears throat> I will still eat them, I, but it makes you wonder. Like, the shrimp tempura I, is such a good. Yeah, oh. same thing. Shrimp, it's just a sea bug. It <clears throat> makes you wonder like if you if you deep fried cockroaches and dipped them in. Nope, won't do okay, it. Maybe not. Won't do it. You can. Butter. I mean, butter have you ever, something. like, uh, Burley, he's probably in here, and anyone from Texas, they have these things called sewer uh, sewer roaches or something like that. They come out of the tree roaches, but oh, they come I out of, no, things. they come out of the sewer at night, and as you're riding your bike and stuff, they fly at your head. Oh, and uh, I hated them. Nope, I'm glad. That's yeah, kind of like people who live black in and Australia. catfish. Yeah. So good. People who live in Australia, and they're like, oh, yeah, the bugs down here. Like, it's like, no thanks. I don't like my bugs as big as chihuahuas. Like, I'll stay where I'm at. So the pit boss, dude, we're talking about food for 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> pit boss, I I would love to learn how to smoke. I, that, I But I just don't have time right now. But one day I really want to have a good smoker and just smoke my food. I think, like I heard uh, pizza smoked is like amazing. It's so funny. <clears throat> like if, if any of you guys know, have like followed me at all or anything, <laughs> know that I, I, I work in construction with my brother and I show up to our shop this morning. And he has four 55 gallon drums, like steel drums outside. I'm like, what are these for? And I'm thinking it's some kind of like he bought fuel or oil in bulk or something like that. He goes, oh no, I got them on Facebook Marketplace for $5 a piece. We're going to make a bunch of smokers. And I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> I'm like, you have a Traeger over there. Why are we going to make smokers? 
So, so uh, Rich Rich goes, uh, I, I frequent comedy shows. I think I recognize talent. Dude, my right butt cheek is like asleep because I have to lean up different. Yeah, because, I hate it. Because you guys don't realize that like the new desk that Tyson bought is almost oh, like a U-shape. Shut up. And shut we're up. having to like Look at this. put our knees together. Look at this. I got to get it. Uh, I love that you're moving all the candy out of the way. Shut get... up. You're not supposed to tell everyone. <laughs> uh, is this it? I don't even know what, what that is. What is that? I don't know that. What are you looking for? The control right here. Check this out. No one will be able to see by my hand. Oh, you got that's cute. Um, it is. He has he has underglow lights on his desk. Is it a gamer? <sighs> it's a gamer's desk. It's a gamer desk, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But it was the cheapest desk, and I needed one that wasn't cutting my my knees up. All right. Uh, I thought they said uh, KFC. I'm the, like, no, I'm not. The crinkle sounds of the. What other candy you got in there? Um, I got gummies. I got goldfish. <laughs> There's a new segment. What's in Tyson's drawer? Fruit snacks. I'm gonna take my um, my multis. I did have. I, I did have a ton of uh, Rice Krispie treats. When someone ate them. Um, we've been there a while, haven't they? No, we just bought them, but it's cold down here. Uh, okay, I'm trying to catch up. No, but we should. Uh, so when dad bonds and beers, we are we've already talked about it. We talked with the producer, uh, he wants us to go, uh, like we got done recording our stuff today, and he said, uh, he used the word, not us, millions will be grateful for what we just put out, and that felt really good coming from him because he he represents. Um, a couple major. of podcasts that already do very, very well in the top 10 so, in Spotify and in uh, Apple. So, so that was that was it, gave me the tingles. It was it was fun. When is he going to start giving us the handouts or the posts so that we can start posting? Um, so we're gonna get the audio file first to kind of review, and then so the new episode it will consistently drop on Wednesdays now. Dude, my right butt um, cheek is so <laughs> so episodes audio will officially drop on Wednesdays, and we're just gonna have to play it out and see. Um, as we get the social media clips and and stay tuned for Dad Bods and Beards official YouTube channel now, yes. where you will be able to watch the full. Dad you can Bods already subscribe to it. We just haven't posted or yeah. put anything on it yet. So you'll like, be able to see the full episodes recorded. Um, so not just audio on on your phone or things like that in, in the car, but you can actually go watch the full episode um, on YouTube. So and uh, how Logan was arrested and naked. <laughs> I'm over here in the middle of like a, somewhat of a heartfelt story, and Tyson was like, "Oh yeah, when you and I said like when you were naked in the back of the car, right?" Talking about <laughs> talking, talking about my my history with bipolar, and I had a night where I, you know, anyways, long story short, the police got involved in a very harmless way to come help find me in the middle of a like a, a, a dark episode, and Tyson's like, "Yeah," and then they uh, picked you up naked in the back of the cop car. Right? I'm like, I'm like, wow. <laughs> there's like, there's like tears coming down. <laughs> I'm like, like they're not gonna know what like, what category to put us in, like mental dark health comedy, <laughs> yeah. dark dark humor comedy. Uh, anyway, I, I had to take this off because they could barely see you talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, I need some more. So, uh, I Cajun, food. we've been talking about Cajun food and barbecue food this for 35 minutes. I, feel like I need a phone book to sit on. Are there phone books still? I don't think there's Dude, anything. You know just... phone books. Um. I said something to my daughter last night about a newspaper, and she goes, what's that? Wow. She's almost eight. Do they have newspapers anymore? I don't think they She's do. She's never seen a newspaper. Huh. We did keto fried fish. There's such thing as keto fried fish. Isn't yeah. just fish keto? Well, the fried part, like adding breading to it, probably hmm. has to be very specific. Okay. Follow me for more recipes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the new scent profile, num cheek. No, num cheek. <laughs> num cheek <like. laughs> Actually, um, but I oh oh we do need to acknowledge this. Oh, this is cool. I like it. So go to Finley. I he might have three or four or five left. I, I'm not going to say, um, but here's this: the Finley. So you guys know Finley hats. And so we have Finley right here, and so it's just the Finley. And uh, for those who are aware. Uh, I've already said this before. This was Moosehead Lake. And so those who like Moosehead Lake, um, this is the scent for you. And so I love Moosehead. I helped I helped name Moosehead. That's my you did. Fame. And what's what's cool though is um I'm getting 
so uh, since this is his name, we're getting uh, we're swapping. So I, he's giving me hats. I'm giving him uh, oil. And uh, so I what I'm going to do is sell the hats that he gave me with an oil. And so that so it's going to be a little bit more pricey. Finley hats are nice, though. Yeah. So it's going to be a Finley hat. It's going to be black and orange. And uh, it's like Harley. Yeah, I really, really like it. It's a black hat, orange brim, and it's going. And then, and then I will have that uh, Finley oil with it. I'm not going to sell other than with the hat, so because it's it's kind of a, what we're doing. If you guys don't know what Moosehead smells like, which that's <clears throat> which is now the Finley oil. Um, if you like, thanks, if, Dino. If you liked Sundance, if you like, if you liked In the Saddle, um, Old Ephraim, those ones, those those all kind of like fall in the same category for me. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, don't worry, man. Uh, fry part isn't, oh, almond flour. Okay. Mm. Yep, Moosehead. People love Moosehead. Moosehead is bomb, dude. I, I had like two or three of those before I got rid of them. Yeah. So again, uh, yeah, I've, I love Moosehead. Now I can, I have more of the fragrance so I can make more. But like I said, so I'm going to have 36 hats. Um, I'm going to be giving uh, some away. Um, I'll do maybe a couple giveaways with that, but I'm like, I'll give you a hat and I'll give you an oil. I'm going to keep a hat and keep, no, I'm going to get, I'm going to keep a hat. I'm going to keep an oil. Um, Matt put Matt Beardlaws is actually the one who put this together. He's the one who got the club going. Very nice. Yeah. And so Matt is obviously going to get an oil and a hat and, uh, things like that. So it's just, uh, dude, I, it's like, like, <laughs> like it's going down to my right leg. You're like my sciatica. <laughs> No, seriously, my, my butt. Uh, yes, it's one of my favorites. Like, I have a huge head. Will it fit? Dude, it doesn't fit it my head. Fit. Okay, well, he answered that question. Um, however, uh, he does now sell extensions, extenders. And so I asked him to send this few for me and uh, for whoever else has a big You know head. who we need to probably collab with? Giant head? No. What are they called? Big head? Um, Mammoth. It? Mammoth. Big head, the mammoth, mammoth. mammoth head headgear or something like that. They they do hats for big heads. Uh, so is this up on the site? No, I'm waiting for the hats. Um, he should receive the oils now, um, but hats take a little bit longer. Um, I saw the pre-order on their site. Yes, it shouldn't be pre-ordered here much longer. So um, yeah, uh, dude, when I have time and I actually buy a smoker, um, I will definitely hit you up, Todd, because I. Seems too complicated because I like the charcoal and all that. I don't know. Do you know it's a really okay? You know it's a really good beginner's smoke, like smoking meat job. Go to Costco, get the pre-seasoned drumsticks that come in like a pack of twenty-four for like ten dollars, and smoke those suckers. They're pre-seasoned, and you can look up. It's just literally just smoking drumsticks, and I, I did that a few times. Actually, went over to my dad's house and used his smoker a few times. And same thing, you can buy the preseason tri tips from Costco, just smoke them up. And then, What's right that? here, this is another collab that we did with a podcast oh, Whoa, it. It. with the podcast network. And uh, this is just a thing we're going to lot. We only made 24. This one? I haven't seen this one, yeah, it's just 24 each. Um, and uh, that's all. And I'm not going to make any more. They're not. So it's just 24. And we're going to sell them on their website, but he's going to come on mine when he's ready to do it. So what's the scent? I don't, I'm not going to, I'm going to let him release that. Oh, geez. I don't, I don't even get to know. I'm over here like trying to read the letter, read oh. the back and you're like, taking <laughs> I'll tell you later after this. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Thanks so much. Hey, he's the one who says we should do axe throwing. <gasps> we should do axe throwing. I would love to go axe throwing. We should do that tonight. Do we have time tonight? Can we do TikToks doing that tonight? Absolutely, we can do TikToks throwing axes. I think we're going to have to. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why as you're long, trying to convince me. But. As long as my right buck cheat doesn't stay. Uh, okay, questions for you guys. Air fresheners. That's not a question. So uh, we're this now. Uh, uh, so this is what it's going to look like officially. Hold, on, hold it still. Hold it still. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. So this is officially what it's going to be like. And then you guys will just tie it on top right here uh, to wherever you want to tie it to. Um, but I'm waiting on the uh, pouches. 
And so as soon as the pouches are here, you have no idea how unbelievably happy this makes because what is the one thing I've been asking you for for like years? Air freshener. Air freshener. Do you want to hurry and make one? I absolutely will. We'll hurry and make one and you can test it in your truck. I love it. No, I've been I've been telling him for a couple of years. I'm like, dude, I want these scents as air fresheners because my truck smells. <laughs> Facts, do you know? So Dino has opened a company and, uh, you know, with a life of Tyson on TikTok that I, I yeah. need to stay a little bit more yeah, active in like twice on this Three, uh, four times. Okay. And I need to, it's just like, I, life has happened. <laughs> okay. um, the life of Tyson where life has happened. Yeah. Where he talked about he's owned a business and his was a little bit more easier than ours. Oh, well, you know, and, uh, Is there, are you TikTok or Instagram? That's no, uh, him. He's everywhere. Dino. Yeah. Uh, first thing I ever smoked was a turkey. That sounds really good. Probably shouldn't start. Uh, is that, that a leather patch? Uh, yes, it is a leather patch. Yes, we will have an English code air freshener. Uh, we'll have every scent. I'm going to make 10 of each. This is what Jack, uh, Jacob sent me. They're all leather pouches. Um, and then I bought uh, these, these right here. And then Candice is uh, putting them in through the hole right there. And then I'm going to be soaking these in fragrances. And then I have a pouch coming uh, that will fit those. But I got to wait for So we're just waiting on the pouches. I'm not, I'm yeah, he worked at the Axe House today. Now I'm, I'm over here debating on what scent I want. English code would be legit too. Everything is good. Nice. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, uh, I'm, I think I might make one here short. Um, I'm going to stop by the barbershop. The appointment is for my dad. We, he needs some pampering, but I'm going to pick up some more. You can smell everything at the barbershop. Everything, even the scent of the month. Dude, the, I've, I've been to a lot of barbershops over the years. You have? I, I used to do like the very slick pompadour look with like the hard part. And the girls at the barbershop, I mean, like you see, Amanda just faded me up really well tonight. She and, did. Um, I just love it. All right. So here's the real question. And we're going to get serious. What's one thing you wish you knew five years ago to do? Ooh. You want me to answer? Uh, yeah, I'll answer. You answer. And then uh, everyone else will answer. Last week, I asked a serious question of who your hero was. And your dad was here. Mm. And um, we were talking all um, about our heroes and dude it got deep like yeah. some people were like holy cow that's like it wasn't meant to be deep but it got amazing yeah. like it's a good episode to watch uh just because it's, people open their hearts and it was like yeah. it was a good good show um how deep you want me to get deep whatever you feel comfortable um one thing i wish i had known five years ago would be that i would truly learn to love myself and enjoy who i am because I was very mentally ill and mm -hmm. I hated who I was. So being able to sit here today and say that, I wish I could go back and tell, you know, 29 year old Logan, like, dude, I promise you, like, you're, you're going to, you're going to love where you end up in five years. So I would be excited, you know, to, to, you know, 39 year old Logan to be like, man, I wish I could tell 34 year old Logan where you end up. So I think uh, learning to truly give myself a break and love myself and enjoy my life. This is one thing I would tell myself five years ago. I like that. I would do the same. I would not that, not to that extent, but mine would be uh, learn to be patient. Yeah. And know that yeah. things are coming. Um, even now, I'm still not patient because like, we're, st I'm it's, still haven't paid myself. I still, we're still in the infancy stage. We're still just like, why can't this just happen? It's hard. It it, it's, it's, it's hard, especially when, you put your heart and soul into something and it still just moves a little bit slower than you want to. And yeah. you're grateful for what you have, but yeah, I would, I would say, Hey, learn to be patient. What and also the lottery like, numbers. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> say, like, Lord grant me patience and hurry. Yeah, no, it's true. A hundred percent believe that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, miles said the lottery numbers, uh, I wish I would learn how cool growing a beard is. I've been able to grow a beard since high school, but I chose to start at 37 two years ago. Look Man, at that gotta... beard is two years old. That's crazy. But I agree with Michael. Yeah. Um, I wish I would have grown a beard sooner. I wish I would have known how to take care of my beard sooner. Because I've, I've been growing my beard for a while. Never went as long as I've been going now, right? Uh huh. Um, actually, this is the longest beard I've ever had. Even before you cut it? Mm -hmm. oh, because no. we cut it off just before it was this long last time. Uh -huh. um, 
but I didn't know how to take care of it very well. It was very dry, very crunchy back then. Yeah. I maybe, uh, I wish I would have known about this, uh, the brotherhood of beards before too. Yeah. Bearded weirdos run deep, man. Yeah. Rich Rich says I'm terrible to, I'm terrified to visit a barber for a beard trim. I can't imagine this the same apprehension knowing the owner is also a beard product company owner had a bad beard trim a few years back. A hundred percent. Like, so, I uh, so I will, uh, Logan can attest to this. I will hire a barber and the management will not allow anyone to do a fade or a beard trim until they've done X amount. And then they have to do it either on me or someone uh, with me around. So I can say, okay, yeah. we're good. Well, look, this is, this is, uh, you can't really see because of the thing. Yeah, let me take but, it off. Let me this take is, it off. Uh, I've had my beard trimmed at the barbershop and you can see just the nice shape. And I've never been a beard trim guy. I was always afraid of it. But Amanda trimmed up my beard, what, two months ago? Uh -huh. A month and a half ago? So clearing up the little. And she does mine. But see, I I can't grow your beard, obviously. Yeah. But I like I like how my beard is now. Yeah. Um, I wish I knew that I had spent more time with a loved one that are gone now. Mm. Oh, dude, isn't that's, that the yeah, truth? That's, that's deep. Hard. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, hey, Dagan. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Love, Dagan. Um... My beard is only six months, but I always had one. Just kept shaving off until I care for it. That's six months old? That's crazy. That is nuts. You probably sneeze and it gets longer. Yeah, that is some freaking... <laughs> That's huge. Uh, just punch Logan in the beard, Tyson. Fluff, Fluff it up. <laughs> yeah. It is, so really, case, it is really fluffy. Five years, I don't, uh, I don't know, but 16 years ago, I would have never left uh, DOTD as a certified bridge inspector and joined the family business to be messed up over still till this day, seven years, and could have retired. Oh, what's that DOTD? Is it Department of Transportation? Where do you live at? Uh, uh, so he's, he's Cajun, so he's New Orleans area. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, government gigs, like DOT, like, it's good stuff. All right. Let's do a would you rather. <laughs> this is a funny would you rather or a serious would you rather? Oh, this is going to be funny, but let's try and see what Tony says. I'm growing a beard for the first time at 49. Uh, had I known about all the quality products available, I would have gone done it a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and Tony has asked so many amazing questions, and uh, I absolutely, like, he, and I love the questions. He's inspired me on, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. Yeah. Uh, well, it's probably nine months now, but still nine months, man. Oh, right here. Sheesh, it keeps moving. Nine months. T Department of Transportation Development. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I would tell myself anything. I I wouldn't tell myself. I had to travel this road to get where I am today, and I wouldn't change anything. That's a good one. And I'm not going to lie. Will has such a fun personality. Yeah. He. I've talked to him one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, for 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, on a phone call and stuff like that, and he's just a good person. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I wish I understood uh, how you know, much yeah. denial I was in. Dude, that's deep. That is deep. You know what? I mean, I just I just posted about this on my TikTok and Instagram. My Instagram. I feel like that's it's it's similar. Of like, you can't uh, you can't heal the pain you refuse to feel. Same thing. Like you can't grow past um, you know a certain point if you just never never face the denial. So I like that one. I was in denial for a lot too. I I, I I identify with that. Okay. I wasn't going to ask this question, but I'm seeing all these members and I'm so grateful for you guys. Tell me something that you think would be fun for members only type of thing on YouTube. What would you guys like to see for members only for the people who have are a part of the membership? So tell me something that you guys would appreciate uh, being yeah. a part of that. Like something is like a what makes it you, worth you know, it? Yeah, yeah. What's worth it to you for the subscription and everything? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious because I really want to. Like, let's just thank you. Me punching Tyson <laughs> right in the face. Will is Santa Claus. That is why he is Santa Claus, dude. But... I've told you this. I cannot wait to be old enough to retire dude. with a white beard and just. I want to go and play the most legit Santa for like children's hospitals. And things like that, like I mean, custom velvet suit drive. I mean, like I'll drive a red. Yeah, but you're not even gray. I mean, this is all. Oh, gray. No, no, no. You can't see. We just talked about this. I have so much gray hiding under here. You can't see with these cameras, but like I've got. Well, look, I got one, one, one gray one right here. Oh, the mustache one. 
drives me nuts. Not yours. I'm just going to keep it there just to bug you. No, not yours, but mine. I have that right there, too, and I'm just, ugh, I just hate it. Well, if they were all great, it wouldn't. It's just that one always point that comes out weird. I'd be starving, Santa. Do you say Uh If I become our, I like exclusive content and also exclusive merch. Merch? Mm. That that's just me, I guess. A members only jacket. We should do maybe a couple of posts a week for uh, yeah members only. I like that. I want to make bomber jackets. And then maybe what we could do is also maybe do a live show, but and anyone can see, but only members can comment. You can do stuff like that too. Mm. And that's just to say, hey, thank you. Uh, right, and we'll. Will is a great human being. He's called me when I had done my first ever beard product review on Detroit Grooming. And then he gave me an app for... Dude, that's awesome. That's cool. No, Will's awesome. I like He's one of my favorites. Inside the thought process of picking this... Oh, okay. Dude, that would be a good one. I keep saying that you need to do kind of behind the scenes of making, like making Copper John stuff. Because here's the thing. There's a handful of companies out there that, that do what you do. All of the big ones don't. All the big ones, they just, it's all just shipped in, right? But you guys see this. It's all the lab back here. I would love to see. I mean, I've seen it all. Yeah. And I think I, I, I'm i super impressed by it. And so I think that would be an awesome. I actually like this. Yeah. Um, I'm take your to, camera. With yeah, your, I was just going tripod. to. Uh, no, I was like, I'm actually going to take my camera real quick. You're going to take a picture of that? I am going to take a picture of this. I think it's, see, I'm taking such a picture. A, such a, like a, you're not. That's your calculator. I, <laughs> shut up. I was just about to call you like a boomer, and then you pull out your calculator to take a picture. <laughs> Bloopers for How do you work in this technology? <laughs> I just realized what's right. I hope I wasn't too far. Behind. Yeah, we were all talking about like mental health, and it was haha funny. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. But I'm like, that, that's not low. That's not digging. So, so we're just like. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, dang, it's a stud. I what's the what's the would you rather? Okay, I just wanted to know, but I really, really like what Rich Rich said. I really like what Miles said. Yeah. Um, and what everyone else said. So I appreciate that. Uh Tyson, how do you get a keck? Shut up. Hey, when you got <laughs> when you got as many degrees as this guy, you can use a calculator as a camera. No, but look, I have all this. I have all this. I saw uh, your background. Uh, there's my your background. Oh, yeah, you guys have to see my daughter. This is my background. <laughs> She's like, when are you going to get rid of that? I'm like, so we were at Lagoon at amusement park, and we did the Pioneer. Or we went to Pioneer Village, and they have the old timers pictures. Yeah. And everyone's like, make a face, and that was her face. And I'm like, it's just the missing, oh. the missing teeth, like the missing yeah, teeth. like I'm just like, oh, this is it. <clears throat> That's funny. But okay, so the, 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 the would you rather be smart or attractive? I thought these are things that you aren't. You're so dumb. <laughs> um, Dude, my what? I would probably have to go with smart because well, I don't know. You can get there's a lot of dumb, attractive people that make a lot of money. Um, if you're attractive, I mean, I could just show a little bit of cleave and <laughs> I could make millions. <laughs> um, I would have to say, I would have to say bend over a little bit, show a little crack. I probably have to, I'd probably have to say smart because I would I would hate the one day realization of like realizing that like oh I'm attractive but I'm an idiot it's like Zoolander <laughs> like, what is this a center for ants it has to be at least ten times bigger yeah. attractive or you googly that was my funnest funnest part you googleizer yeah I've, or am I not asked, a good you googleizer I've been asked to give the you googly <laughs> what am I not a good you googleizer uh, attractive and used my ravishing good looks. Use use me. Uh, I think uh, you have the good looks. When I made the hot comment, you were playing the nipple video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were way back. There. Yeah, yeah uh, we moved smart. on from nipples to mental health. <laughs> uh, not too much crack though, just an inch, right? <laughs> That could be applied in so many different ways. <laughs> no, we're, we're, I said bend over and you get a little. You yeah, know. I, I know. <laughs> like, um, I'm already attractive. I, I'm already attractive, so I want to be smart because even attractive ones can be ugly. <laughs> and that's actually deep. Yeah, you got to cut deep like that. I know. Like, well, uh, it's about that time already. It's been an hour. 
Wow. And I am starving Marvin. Man, we've been together a long time. Today. Do you guys ever say like starving Marvin? Is that a Utah thing? No, I've heard it before, but I don't really say it. <laughs> Neither do I. That was like the first time ever. Yeah. I am starving Marvin. Do you guys, what do you guys say when you're hungry? Okay. Get out of the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say much. I just grunt. All right. So we'll hurry and recap. I love these sizes. These are so fun. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, are you going to be on tomorrow night or are you not going to? i try to. Because you spent all day with it's me just, already. It's just uh, I, I don't make the I don't make the, the schedule in my house. My sure. wife does. All right. Which hold on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna brag for half a second, right? Um, so our new or Tom, the producer of the podcast, now he he's like, oh here, let me see your phone. I'm gonna take a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hand him my phone, and I just I hand it to him locked, right? Because I'm not I'm not a psychopath. I don't just unlock my phone and hand it to people. And he sees he sees. Your wife. This, which is my wife, Chelsea. And he goes, he goes, wow. He's like, she's really, she's, she's like, wow, she's really pretty. She's attractive. And I was like, yeah, that's my wife. And he goes, well, I'd hope so. <laughs> that would be really weird to like have, a, you know, have your wife or have another woman on your phone. It's not your yeah, wife. It's my wife. I'm like, oh, actually. And then I have my daughter. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, actually, that's Tyson's wife. And then he has my wife on his phone. <laughs> Everyone's seen my wife. But, uh, Note just to keep remember that tomorrow. No, this isn't tomorrow. Right now, you can go to Finley Hats mm -hmm. and be able to get this oil. It's a collab special with uh Finley Hats, as you can see. And so you make sure that you go support him and, and all that kind of stuff. Secondly, uh, our game night starts tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern. We are going to be doing it. Will uh please come. Tony, <laughs> be there. Rick, be there. Try, I'm gonna try to be there. Um, just, just, I could literally just sit there and have, just listen to Will's answers all day. Like, they're See, I didn't do, so... I didn't do Family Feud. I did the no, dude, Quiplash they, one. Yeah. They are so bad. His answers are the worst. In, and, the, in like the best way though? Yes. But it's just like, I see what you're saying, but buddy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's letting the intrusive thoughts win. Yeah. Like that. That. Uh, yes, and Miles, uh, that is a podcast, and that's probably going to be in the next week or two. We'll make a spontaneous live, most likely on a Sunday, where we're just going to sell those for him, and so that you guys are aware. Um, they're trying to make money for their thing, so they bought these wholesale. They're going to sell them normally, so they're going to try to double their money, and uh, it's just to support their group, and uh, why not? I, I mean, it. it was really cool. Letter play. This is for men and women. Uh, so, Tony, on YouTube, I don't know if you can do it on your phone. I don't know. But if you go to the normal website, you just hit join. I think you have to be on the desktop. Uh, desktop, and you just hit join, and uh, it, then that's how you get it. But so, and then on Monday, we are going to be, you'll be there, right? You'll be there, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern, we're going to be releasing the scent. And then stay tuned for the weekend. Uh, we are going to be having an Easter sale. So just your forewarned so you know that's going on. Every too. oil comes with a 12-pound chocolate bunny. Dude, that's big. That's a big bunny. <laughs> yeah, that's a really big bunny. I just kind of like I just started talking and see what came out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, we are going to be out. Um, if you guys need anything from us, uh, please simply just reach out to us. Um We'll be online again tomorrow at 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock my time. And uh, we will start working on that exclusive content for members so that you guys know that we're grateful for you. So that you guys know that we know that you know. That you care. That you care. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful night. We're going to go eat and make some TikTok content for you guys. So Stay tuned. Take care, guys. Stay